Hello, welcome to another edition of uh, Cracking the Cryptic where we're going to look at the killer Sudoku today, deadly rated from the Times, so it should be a reasonable challenge. Um, right, as usual, let's just fill in some of the givens. So you can see this box has to be 689. Uh, you can see this box has to be 124. And here we've got a 10 box in 4, which is has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so again we should note that. Uh, oh, 8, 9 over here, so that forces this cell to be a 6. And, okay, this 11 here can only be 4747 seven now because it can't be 92, it can't be 83 and it can't be 56. Um, and just looking at the geometry of the grid here we should be able to write in the value of this cell here. Again I recommend pausing if, um, if it's not clear immediately why that's the case. We should be able to write in the value of this cell and also this cell by exactly the same logic and you should also be able to fill in this box so why do I say all that let's let's have a quick look so columns 8 and 9 you can, you obviously these two columns have to sum to 90 because they'll contain the numbers 1 to 9 exactly twice each that'll be 1 to 9 in some order in this column 1 to 9 in some order in this column, and the numbers 1 to 9 sum to 45, so you have two columns, that's going to give you 90. And if we draw an imaginary line down the grid where the cursor is moving at the moment, it should be clear that there are a lot of boxes to the right hand side of this imaginary line that are entirely contained within columns 8 and 9. In fact, every single box to the right of this line is entirely contained within columns 8 and 9 except this box here and this box sticks in with just this cell so if we sum all of the boxes that we've got in columns 8 and 9 that are entirely contained within columns 8 and 9 deduct that total from 90 we'll get the value of this box let's, let's see if that works so 12 35, 48, 71, 81. So this, this is a 9 here in order to ensure that these two columns sum to 90. And we can do exactly the same over here for this 11, but with this time with columns 1 and 2. So 27, 39, 45, 53, uh, 60, 74. So that 84, so this is a 6, and this is a 5. So now, what do, and then this box here, well, this box is 13, and we know it needs to, it can't contain an 8 or a 9, so it has to contain a 6 and a 7. It's the only way of getting to 13 without using an 8 or a 9. And there's a 6 here, so we can write 6, 7 like this. Simple Sudoku logic then tells us that there's a 6 in one of these two cells, so we should write that down. Might not be useful, but in fact is, well, this 12 box now, um, you can make 12 in 4 cells in two ways. It can be 6, 1, 2, 3, well that way is ruled out because we already have a 6 in the column and indeed a 6 in the, in the box up here. The other, the other reason is can be 5 and then 1, 2, 4. Now that is possible, that's in fact, it has to be that. So let's just write that in 1, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4, 5. So this cell down here now has to be 3. Let's take 9. You can see now within this top right box, we've got a sort of quadruple. We've got a 1, 2, 4 and a 1, 2, 4, 5. So these four cells here have to contain some combination of 1, 2, 4, 5 
and the rest of the box cannot have a 1, 2, or a 4, or a 5 at all. So this 9 now is forced over here into this column, like this. These sum to 15, so this is a 1. Like that. Uh, okay. checking to see whether or not we can take that any further. I'm not seeing anything immediate there. Uh, no. Okay. Now. Ah. Okay. Let's have a look at this top left box now. So ordinarily this might not be interesting, but you can see we have two very large numbers in the cages entirely contained within this box. We have a 27 and a 12. They sum to 39. Now, given that we know the whole box will sum to 45, that means these three cells have to sum to 6. And the only way of getting 6 in three cells is with 1, 2, 3. So these three cells are 1, 2, 3, like this. Now, uh, this can't be a 3 because that would make this a 5. We already have a 5 here, so let's remove that, which means this is 6 or 7. Now, you can also see that if these cells are 1, 2, and 3, these two cells, where I'm showing you here, the ones sticking out from this box, have to sum to the difference between 9 plus 8, which is 17, and the 6 we've already got entirely contained within these three boxes. So these two cells sum to 11, which means this box here is a 4 or a 5. We can't see which yet, unfortunately. But on, an, on another day, that might have worked to give us another number. So let's just try and remember these two sum to 11. Uh, now, where next? Um, well, let's have a look at this box. This box is quite constrained as well, just as this box was constrained by having two big numbers in it. This, this has two relatively big numbers in the 21 and the 11 box, sum to 32. But then there's another cell here, which is an 8 or a 9. So that's, that, that's, that's very large. Um, so let's imagine this is a 9 for a moment. Just test that. So that's 21 plus 11.32, plus 9 is 41. These two then have to sum to 4, which means that they're 1, 3 in some order, but we have a 3 here. And in fact, that's going to fail, because let me show you why. This would make this a 3 and this a 1, which means these two cells have to sum to 17. So they have to be 8 and 9. Now you can immediately see that's impossible because we already have an 8 and a 9 in the in the column. So there would be three cells in a row that have to be 8 and 9. Well, that's obviously absurd. So we can immediately discount this being a 9. So it must be an 8. And that ought to be helpful as well. So we've now got 21 plus 11 plus 8, which is 40. So these two cells now have to sum to 5. But look, we've already got a 1, 2, and a 3 in this column. So this has to be a 4, and this has to be a 1. Now these two have to sum to 14 without containing a 9. So they have to be 6 and 8, and there's a 6 here. So this is a 6, and this is an 8. And OK. This can't be a 1, let's make sure we get rid of that. And we need to place a 5 in this, this row here. And you can't see it can't go here because we already have a 5 here. So this must be a 5. Or oh, this is 2 or 3. Now, uh, let's just go a bit further. 
to 9 down here by simple Sudoku rules. We know that the 3 here is in one of these two positions because of this 3 here. I'm just, I'm just going through the Sudoku rules here just to check whether or not we can make any more deductions because oh yeah, in fact, look, there's two 8s here so this is forced to be an 8. That means these two cells have to sum to 7. They can't be 1, 6 and they can't be 3, 4 so these two cells are 2, 5. 2, 5, 2, 5 which means these two cells are what are these two cells? 1, 3 Ah, we have a 1 up here already anyway, so this is a 1, this is a 3, uh, which means that this is a 7. We can write in the value of this cell now, this must be a 3. Uh, this must be a 3. Sorry, the software just makes this a little slower than it would be if we were writing in pencil, but I don't want to make a mistake. And, uh, that will really confuse everybody. <laughs> um, okay, we need to place a 7 in this box, so we've now got 16 plus 90. So 3 is 19, so this is the 2, this is the 4. Uh, this must be a 1. Two. Okay. Uh, now this eight box here, we've already used the one. So these other two cells are either going to be two five two five or three four three four, and we have a three here. So this is two five two five, which means this is two and this is five. These two cells sum to eight. So these two cells sum to fourteen, um, which means we need but we can't use a 5, so this has to be 6 and 8 in some order, and we already have an 8 here, so this is an 8 and this is a 6. Okay, let's look at this row now, it's getting very congested, 1, 4, 7 to place. Ah, so this cell, well we can't be a 1 and this can't be a 4, so this is a 7, this is the 1, this is the 4, this is the 5. These two cells sum to 8, so these two cells sum to 12. And they can't be 5, 7 or 4, 8. So this is 3, 9 in some combination, which means this is a 9 and this is a 3. Which means these two cells have to be 1, 2, 4, but we already have a 2 in the box. So this is a 2. These two cells are 1 and 4. These two cells have to sum to, oh, well, here, this box is done, isn't it? So the, Remember this have, these two have to sum to 11, so this is a 5, this is a 3, and this is a 1. I mean, I probably shouldn't say it, but I think the puzzle's cracked now. I think we've, we must have done the hard bit, or the hard work. Um, two, one, four, five in some order, and we already have one 4 down here, so this is in fact... Oh, so I don't know what I've just done there. Uh, sometimes the cursor gets lost on this. Um, I want to undo whatever I just did. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, so this this I want to be a 5. There we go. Um, okay, so we can fill in a few more numbers down here. Look, that's got to be a 4, that's got to be a 7, that's got to be a 5, that's got to be a 2. Now this, we've got this 12 here, it can't be 3, 9 and it can't be 4, 8. So this has got to be 5, 7, which means this has to be a 5 and this has to be a 7, which helps us with this bottom box down here. We need an 8 in the column, so that's an 8. Um, okay, there's now an 8 in one of these two positions, let's put that in. Two, four, seven to place in here. This can't be a four, so this is a two or a seven. Oh, 
Oh, interestingly now, if this was a 2, this won't work. Um, because these two cells would then have to add to 8, 9. But we already have an 8 in the column up here. So this is not a 2, this is a 7. Which means this is a 4 and this is a 2. Uh, 6. So this is a, this needs to take a 6, this box. Let's put that in. Like that. This has got to be 3, 9. So this is a 3. Oops, look at that. That's a 1. That's a 4. That's a 1. 1, 2, 4 already here. So this is 5. Like that. Um, three, four, five. This is seven, nine. So this is a this is a two. I was convinced then I would be able to fill the, the seven, nine in, but I can't quite see how to. And we've got six, seven, nine to place along here. So this is in fact a seven. There we go. Seven, nine. This must be a six. Now we've got what? What have we got to place here? We've got four, and nine, which helps up here with nine and six, which helps up here with six and eight. And this is how you do it. So nothing terribly difficult today. I think we made a good deduction down here and a good deduction up here. And once we've done that, it was all plain sailing. So I hope this has been helpful. I will see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.